Hi guys, Nicole Herrick here with you. Today I'm going to show you how to change the SEO of individual products in your Wix website. So what am I talking about? All right, so when I go to Google and look up this brand, you can see here that I've got some subcategories. These subcategories are uh, done by Google. You don't actually have too much control over what they put there. It's more based on what people are actually clicking through. So what I'm seeing here is that we have some description text here that is not uh, SEO friendly. So I want to change that. Okay. Now the reason it's doing this, I'm just going to show you on the actual live website in this uh, template that we've chosen for the product page, we've actually used a secondary information box for the description. Uh, Cause in the template, the description actually sits over here on the left hand side. And I don't really like the layout of that. So we just used a secondary one so that we could have all of the information just along the one side. So it's a lot more readable for users. Wix, if you're listening, please change the description to be over here instead of under here where somebody might not see it. So let's go to our Wix editor. You can either click on any of your shop, sort of the center of the shop page, any shop page, or you can go to my store and we're going to manage your store. And we're going to go into store products. Okay, let's find that particular product. Here it is. Okay, so once we are here, if I show you exactly where the information is, so you can see here that we've, um, she's just put like a little, uh, instead of actually having the description in the description section, she's just put a little note on what this uh, bralette is. And then we've used an additional info section, which comes up on the right hand side. And you can click on here and adjust this. So one thing you can do is put nothing in this description and it should come up with the secondary info, but it's always a good idea to actually go in and individually edit the SEO settings of every product, because then you can actually put keywords instead of just, you know, in the description, you might have specific stuff that you want to write that isn't necessarily SEO friendly. So what we're going to do is make sure that our actual SEO information is exactly what we want it to be. Okay, so what I've done is just copy the sort of initial description that we had in the product, and then I'm gonna readjust it to be SEO friendly. This information is not necessarily SEO friendly, but you can see the soft, luxurious, breathable material is quite um, good description. And I'm going to use the words bralette, boy leg. Okay. So this is a bamboo underwear product. So I'm going to put women's bamboo underwear. And this is also black. So there could be people specifically looking for black bamboo underwear. Um, women's bamboo underwear bralette and continue on to put any relatable SEO text in there. Obviously like it needs to sort of make sense. So don't just put keyword, 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 put it as um, sort of sentences. Okay. You can also change the paid URL. Sometimes it might come up and sort of say copy of another product um, or something like that. This one says black bralette, but to be SEO friendly, I'm going to change it to black bamboo bralette. So bamboo, um, and I'm just putting dashes in between so that it denotes that these are separate words so that Google can read that as separate words. Okay. So you can see over here what it will come up like when we look at this. So instead of it being this, it's going to come up looking like this, uh, actually. So we should probably change the title as well. Sorry. <laughs> should have done that first. So Moso Bamboo Bralette. I'm going to put the word black because I think that people will search for that. So here we go. We're looking a lot better now. I'm really liking the look of that. So that's how you change the individual SEO properties of any product within your Wix website. 
Okay, now if you change the page URL, it's really important to do a 301 redirect, just in case Google has actually already indexed that page, which it probably will have if your website's been around for more than a few weeks. Um, so yeah, now because I've changed that, this won't actually link through to the correct page. So I want to make sure that Google knows that there is a new URL for that. So before you actually uh, change this, I want you to copy the old address and just paste it into a Word document um, or a notepad. And then what you want to do is change it um, and then you can click save. And then you're going to go into 301 redirects and you get there by going to settings, SEO, and then scroll down to find manage 301 redirects. You paste in the old page. So so it's just the forward slash bit. So product page slash black bralette. We paste this in here and then we want to redirect it. Now, normally you can just select if it's like a main page, you can just select the right page. But because this is a product page, it's kind of buried in a deep bit deeper. So I'm going to add it manually and I'm going to go and grab the new one. Um, and I want to grab the full URL. So I'm going to grab that from over here. So select that, copy, paste, and save. And that's how you do the 301 redirect. I've actually got a full 301 redirect video because I know that bit was quite quick. So have a look in the description below to see the video for the full 301 redirect so that it's a bit slower and you can follow along. I hope that was helpful, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you haven't made a Wix website yet, please use my affiliate link in the description below.